satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good. Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. We're going to take a look at the Dow Jones. Let's try it again, Larry. The E-mini S&P yesterday, we were talking about it. You'll notice that we made this 3A2 retracement here. We rallied up to the 61% uh, retracement of the high that we made back on last Thursday. And then what we want to do is we want to see what happened next. Because if we're correct, what we'd be looking for would be an A, B, C, D coming down here to this level right here. And guess what happened today, folks? We were looking at that, and believe it or not, the trading gods were spot on today, and you'll be able to see this. I know that several people that uh, were looking at this with me, just give me one second here. This is a Friday in an up week, so it's pretty hard for, oh, what am I doing here? Hold on, I gotta get the right button. There we go. Let me get the share screen, and then we're ready to go. Okay, here's where we are. Oh, there's where we are, I think. Let's see if we get this right. There we go. And as you can see, we make a perfect ABCD down here at 56.51. We've gone all the way up to the 78% level already, and I guess we could easily take this out. Whether we take that 382 out from way back here, I'm not sure, but that's certainly a possibility. The Dow Jones Industrial Average has already made a new high. Now, the Dow Jones Industrial Average, and we'll do that one next, is the easiest of all of the markets to manipulate. And the reason why is it's only 30 stocks, and, you, and they're price-weighted. So all you have to do is pick five of them, and you can run the whole thing. So, you know, someone with a few... Uh, you know, a few hundred million dollars can make the Dow do with just about whatever it wants to do, at least for short term. But here's where we were this morning coming in, setting there at 30,300, 30, oh, excuse me, 30,100. It was just right exactly at the 61% retracement of the move here. I didn't draw in the ABCD because it extended to the 1.27, but it was a spot on 3A2. And when that happened, it took off. And now we've made new highs above here now whether we follow through or not you know remains to be seen but remember the dow jones is price weighted so it's the highest price stocks in the dow and you got about five of those out of the 30 and uh, those are the ones that count the nasdaq and the s p are cap weighted in other words you take the capitalization and figure out what the what the uh, price value is so that's why you want to pay close attention to these as you're watching these things unfold here today but what's more important than that it all happened at the same time, folks. Let me give you a perfect example of when it happened. Here is the British pound. And, you know, we've been following this for quite some time here. We'll get this up here so you can take a look at it. The reason why I'm showing you this, folks, is because when the Fed comes in, and if it was the Fed, I'm not saying, I don't know if it was, it's got to be one of four organizations, the Fed, BlackRock, State Street, and Vanguard. Those are the only people... Well, there's probably a few others that I don't know about. But uh, anyway, look at this. Exactly A, B, C, D, and boom, away we went to the upside. That was the British pound. If we take a look at the euro, this was all exactly at the same time, folks. That's why when you're seeing these things, my goodness, you know, you got to be wondering, why does it happen at the same time? Well, boys and girls, you'll never guess because they all act into nature's law, and that's what this is all about. Now, here is... The British, now listen, now this is the euro. We've already showed you the British pound. Get this up here. And there we are right here. And there's where we are. There was the euro. And let's do one more. Uh, now remember everybody that bought the lottery ticket yesterday, buying the treasury notes at uh, 109 and 12, I believe was the exact number uh, we were looking at. Get this up here to see it. And we will see what happened here today. I'm just walking through this to show you the sequence of what things I was looking for. You remember we bought this down here with a six pip stop. 
uh, that would have been uh, just about $120. Okay, so that's what we were buying it at right now. Well, what happened last night and also today, we're going to get this up here so that you can take a look at it. Because something really big has happened here today, folks. I think the Federal Reserve has made a play here to make these markets uh, calm down a little bit, and it's being shown in the stock market. All right, the next one we want to get to is the Treasury notes, and here they are. I want to get to you. There's two, two charts in this series that I want to show you because these are things that I teach when I do the teaching seminars uh, twice a year here at uh, TFNN. But you notice here we bought here. The market broke down quite a bit, about 500 bucks, down to that 108 and change. Okay, that was $500 from the entry, but we were out of it at 06. We bought, excuse me, 03. We're out of it at 03, and we went dropped a lot lower. So that's why you put a stop in because you don't know what's going to happen next. But when all this stuff happened this morning, exactly four minutes till nine o'clock, when things really started to start rocking and rolling, Treasury notes. Had a huge move, too. Now, Treasury bonds didn't move hardly at all. But look what happened to Treasury notes. If you look at them on a five-minute basis, and when you want to enter a trade and not risk very much, this is what you have to use. Look what this happened. There is your low right here. You have the big pullback right here. You have the pullback if you want to buy that one, which I would have liked to, but I was busy doing a lot of other things. So it pulled back right to here and then makes a perfect A, B, C, D on this five-minute chart right at the 50% level, and then it's had a big move uh, since that time. So that's what I try to do, is I try to find a pattern within the time frame of where I'd like to buy, and if I can risk that much, fine. Does it work all the time? Heavens no. But you know what? Nothing works all the time. So that's the main thing that you got to remember. So you just can't uh, do anything more than that. The fact that the Dow Jones was able to make a new high today, you have to give kudos to that. Now, if we get up there and we do that, the same thing with the NASDAQ, and we do the same thing with the S&P, which we can easily do. Now, the, the NASDAQ stopped at the 78% level up there at uh, 11,248. Uh, 11, we made a little bit higher high at uh, 260. It hasn't gone too much from that level, but that's what we're watching here right now today. So this is a Friday in an up week, and the fact that the market hit those numbers early this morning – and there was no report due or anything. This was uh, five minutes, actually about four minutes before 9 o'clock as I said all those things hit. And I said, uh-oh, here, we're going up. And uh, that's what happened. You know, heck, who knows? Sometimes they go up, sometimes they go down. You don't really know, but that's what you want to be watching. Now, this next slide that we bring up here is important. I don't look at these things at all, but I wanted to bring it up to you because uh, we are watching bonds and notes very, very carefully here. This happens to be the TBT, which is the Treasury Notes, I believe. Let's get these up here to see it. And as you can see here, we're completing a big ABCD up into this area right here with another gap opening, I guess someone said. But this market, I, you know, folks, to me, the whole key to this is what's happening with notes and bonds. We've still got bonds down a point and a half, believe it or not. We're going to talk about bonds a little bit more when we get back. 877-927-6648. Kenny Kegstad has just announced a live webinar coming up for subscribers to his newsletter, The Tiger Forex Report. Wednesday, October 26th at 4 p.m. Eastern Time, Teddy will be hosting a live 60-minute webinar, Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report Newsletter. In this 60-minute webinar, Teddy will be discussing a full breakdown of the markets that influence currency pairs, as well as applying those variables to individual currency pairs, how to evaluate trading scenarios for risk versus reward, as well as a live question and answer session. Sign up now and gain instant access to this live webinar coming up, as well as a month subscription to Teddy's Tiger Forex Report, which comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this live webinar event with Teddy Kegstat, Wednesday, October 26th. Sign up now for the Tiger Forex Report at the front page of TFNN.com. 
Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Free at one eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight internationally at seven two seven eight seven three seven six one eight. Okay, folks, this is the chart of the German DAX. As you can see here, we've had the three drive to a bottom. Then we had the A, B, C, D. Now, their B leg is here. He, we, what he did was he showed this as the high because then it pulled back right to the 61 and then made the ABCD pattern right up here and then you can see it started to fall off you know uh, dramatically so that's why this is off by just a little bit but it shows you you know how harmonic these things really are look at look at these ABCDs here folks well, A B C D A B C D after a while you're beginning to think hmm maybe these things actually do work you know <laughs> I already know that they do, but folks, you never know what's going to happen next because something dramatic will usually happen, and that's exactly you know the kind of market that we live in now because things are really happening all over the world, and I, I know it, we live in interesting times, but I think it's important that we remember it's not about how much money you make. It's about how much money you don't lose. Now, let's take a look here at the British pound because we were looking at it yesterday during the, I don't know if you know this or not, folks, but I don't think there's been anything in the news about it. But uh, the uh, Prime Minister of uh, the UK has resigned. I don't know if you'd heard anything about it. But uh, that caused that great volatility in the uh, British pound. And as you can see here, uh, this was as of yesterday. What we did last night is we came right down to the exact 78% level and stopped. And then we had a nice 150 pip rally uh, this morning starting exactly at around nine o'clock i don't know who was doing that but uh, when you stop and think when all the bells and whistles go off at the same time i mean the public can't be involved because by golly they don't get that information till too late but my goodness to see everything do it at nine o'clock that's why you've got to be prepared here to see what these things are going to do because when they happen and they usually happen pretty actively they can be uh, very, very, very powerful. And we're seeing that today, too. So we've got a couple hours to go in the market. We could easily make new highs for the run here in the S&P. It only has to go about another, oh, 60 handles or so, which it's already ran 70. So ought to be able to do that without any trouble at all, I would be able to think. Okay, now share one other chart here with you, and then we will uh, move on. And that is the gold market here. This is the one that was most difficult. I saw the other things happening, but I didn't see this gold market until uh, later when I said, why, why, what did I miss in gold? 
And what I missed was, if you'll notice here, we had the A, B, C, D. There's your 382 that we talked about. And that A, B, C, D measures down here to 1620. The low today was 1621. We took out this low by 20 cents. I mean, I, I, didn't even, I didn't even hear my limit mine to go off. That's how quick it was. And, of course, we've rallied. We're all the way up into this area already now. But with a big thrusting like this, this is a major bottom that happened here in the gold, just like this one was. Look at that. You took it out by a little bit, and boom. So what you want to do now, if you're trading the gold market, which I am doing, I'm going to do the same thing with gold that I did with the Treasury notes. I had the big move off of the bottom. I missed the bottom. No big deal. Miss a lot of them. So the next thing I want to do is watch for the ABCD pattern. All I do now is I would go down to a four-minute chart, just like I did in the Treasury bonds. I'm going to get up here. Let's try it again, Larry. It's the Treasury notes. And we'll get up here to see it, and we'll be fine. And here we go. I'll wait for this pattern right here. I didn't I didn't get the ABCD here. All I got here was the pullback, which would have been okay. That just made the ABCD. But look at this one. This one gave me the gardening pattern that I wanted. Right at uh, you know the ABCD 382. I mean you can't ask for it because then if you buy it, you know exactly where your risk is. Yesterday I I, I would do that trade a hundred times, folks. Uh, that I bought at uh, 109.13 because this 1.618 is the, from my perspective, it is one of the most, if not the most powerful. Well, the 382 is pretty powerful. 618 is powerful. 786 is powerful. But boy, 1618, that's the spiral mirror balance, folks. That's the end of the spiral mirror balance. You get beyond there, you're going to go to 2 and 2.3 and 4.2 and 9.11, whatever it's going to be. But, you know, 1.618. You know exactly where you stand. And that's where we were yesterday. Now, the $64 question is, why didn't I go short there? Well, I don't go short there because I don't reverse positions very well. Mark Douglas worked in this office with me for five years and tried it. He said, Larry, you do just fine without reversing. Don't even worry about it. There's too much effort in your part. And at that time, it was. But, boy, I'm seeing some of these things reverse so much. I'm saying, boy, I'm missing a lot of really good ones here. So... Those are a few things that I have in my mind as I'm thinking about them all the time. But uh, we are at a real critical level in these notes and bonds, folks. Uh, if they, you know, if I don't know what's happening. They've rallied a little bit, to, well, more than a little bit today in notes, but the bonds are still down a full point. Now, let's look at bonds uh, from another perspective because I wanted to see what I could have possibly done differently yesterday in the bonds. So what I did was I did a weekly chart here of the Treasury bonds, and we'll get this one up here right here. And there's where we are, right there. There's the weekly Treasury bond chart, down 13 weeks. Uh, my original target, of course, you know, was at 128, and we're substantially below that. You can see the 1.618 that came in at 122. We're four handles below that. We didn't see a 117 handle, but this says we could possibly get another point or so lower, and that doesn't mean it can't go lower than that, too, because we're down 13 weeks. Why couldn't it be 14, 15, or 16? This is real money, folks. This is treasury notes and treasury bonds. This isn't funny money like the stock market and stuff. No way, Jose. This is real serious money. Some people have gotten hurt badly in this darn thing. You don't hear about them on the news, but by golly, they have. You hear about the stock guys, but you don't hear about the notes and bond guys. So that's a that's a big thing to remind ourselves as, as we're watching these things to, to take a look at it. But I frankly, you know, I think we're over some type of an event. And then, hey, look, this is my two cents worth. And if you pay more than two cents, you've overpaid. I think we're over something a very, very, and I've said this along. There's a, a black swan, a white swan, a double swan, a flock of swans, maybe no swans at all. But I think something's out there that's going to shake us up. I thought the Treasury notes and Treasury bonds were giving an indication of that, and I thought they were. Maybe they are, maybe they're not, but the stock market certainly doesn't care. Not the U.S. stock market. Look how it's straight. Look, you got the 700-point rally in the British pound with the bonds down a point and a half and notes in the sewer. I mean, hello, operator. They don't care about that kind of stuff. And that's the thing that you got to do. Trade what you see, not what you think. So I'll be watching that 116 layer area in the bonds just like I was doing the notes. But the way you enter is just the way I thought you should probably do it today. Go to a five-minute chart. Watch for the 382. Or an ABCD, whatever you get. If you get the 382 first, take it. If you get the ABCD, take it. 
because those are two patterns that will be on your side about 65% of the time, and that's about all you can do. Now, I wanted to share with you the uh, German DAX because this market has been, I already did that. This is the, uh, the British pound. <laughs> the UK chart. This is the FTSE. Sorry, sorry, folks. I had some really bad news about an hour ago, and I wasn't even going to do the show today. But Paul is my guest, my good friend Eddie. This will probably be his last day. The rabbi's with him, and uh, it doesn't look good. Anyway, we'll be right back with Paula Th Thomasini Webb Douglas, eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks, and I believe we have Paula Tomasini Webb on the line. Paula, how are you? Good. How are you, Larry? Pretty good. Uh, I had a phone call today from one of your uh, presidents of one of your fan clubs, and that's Jim Twentyman. He said to say hi to you. So I thought oh, I'd Oh, I was uh, just thinking about him a couple weeks ago. Yeah, he's going to be my guest next uh, Wednesday. He's going to come on. I think he comes on once a year. <laughs> but uh, Oh, that's nice. He, yeah, it is. He's uh, still living there in uh, Morro Bay, California, and enjoying the weather out there and stuff. So what do you have for us today, P.T.? Well, um, you know, everything's kind of amping up with the politics and stuff, and I know it's kind of wreaking havoc with uh, the markets and a lot of traders' approach to the markets. So, you know, one of the things I just want to remind all of you out there is that now more than ever, you know, all traders, including myself, um, we have to learn how to truly think for ourselves. Like, we can't 
we can't really afford to listen to the crowd. You just have to listen to yourself. Now, I'm not talking about analysis here or anything that Larry does because you should listen to Larry because he's the best. <laughs> um, <laughs> I mean, truly, I wouldn't be on his show otherwise. Um, but um, I'm talking about how you think about yourself as a trader and how you think what the markets may give you in profit. So you got to go back to the basics a little bit because right now we are in the new age of trading psychology. And my new book's coming out and probably by the end of the year on this very subject. It's taking it really a lot further. And but in the meantime, ask ask yourself, what does being a trader mean today mean to me today? Not what it might have been last year, two years ago, ten years ago. What is your definition of being a trader? And a lot of and the reason I bring this up is because a lot of traders that come to me for coaching, they can't even answer those two questions because they haven't updated their definition in a while, and certainly usually not before the pandemic. You know, we all got into trading to make more money than we ever have. But um, I'd say about 80% of all traders I work with, when they'll say when they're asked at a party what they do, they won't admit they're a trader because they haven't achieved their goals as a trader. Yeah. So by avoiding the discussion about what they do, then they mentally negate their own trading goals and cannot achieve that level of financial freedom. So take a few moments and ask yourself those questions. Just refine, redefine who you are as a trader today. And you'll be surprised at what you find because when you do that, you'll find out just how far you've come. And that's a good thing. And you'll have more clarity of purpose and more focus on your financial reward. And again, that's a good thing. So step into the new age of trading psychology and call me as always for your free coaching session today well that's or any really other day stuff tell us about the book who or who's going to publish it for you uh, are you going to self-publish it because i know publishing it through a publishing firm anymore is not not very lucrative yeah they're, they're, yeah they're, yeah anybody who's thinking about publishing don't go to the big boards don't go to any boards just do it on amazon seriously yeah. they have hardcover books now available yeah. Um, it's print on demand. It doesn't cost you anything but your time. And right. um, it's it's really, I have never had one problem with Amazon and any any type of royalties yeah. statement. So um, I can't say enough about that. So um, the new book's going to be called The Sicacious Trader. Um, and we're going to pick up where the complete trader left off and just delve more into this for today's markets and today's world events. And it's it's wow. gonna be a super book and I'm really excited about it. And um, Larry, you'll get the first signed copy. I hope so. Anyway, I, <laughs> I wish somebody else was here to sign it too, but that's not gonna happen. I know, Listen, I PT, know. Uh, I'm still missing him every day. Anyway, I wanted to ask you uh, one other question. Uh, and that is we'll have you on uh, when the book, book is ready to publish, so we'll give you a little bit of a heads up on that so we can let the folks know how they can order it and stuff, okay? Okay, cool. Okay. Well, listen, thanks for joining us today, dear, and we will uh, be in touch, I guess. As always, I'll try to call you three times a week like I usually do. But anyway, right. uh, give give 20 minute call. He'd love to hear from you, okay? Okay, sounds good. Okay. All right, hope to hear well, from you all. Okay, thank you. Paula Webb, folks, uh, Mark's uh, widow, and uh, she, she was most responsible for writing that book, as Mark could put the words down, because she proofread every word and every page of every book. I mean, it was amazing how close they were, and if there were ever a couple that was, uh, you know, really born to be together. Hey, we've got a caller coming in. Holy cow, how did someone get through today? My God, I thought the boards, it's Dan from San Francisco. What's up, Dan? Hi, Larry. How are you, my friend? Uh, pretty good. Thanks for all your calls out. Uh, I've been following you a lot. And then I did follow the treasury notes uh, long. I'm still holding. Uh, I did not get stopped out yet. So my well, question is that what would be our target? Should I still hold it? That's well, the first part know. of my question. Dan, and this is second the question problem. is... Uh, I've been uh, long this TVT since 2022 uh, January in my IRA. I've been out of stocks uh, from your notes. And is it the time to get into stocks or into TLT? 
Well, the answer to your first question is, is on the, the Treasury notes themselves, if you didn't get stopped out, put your stop right below today's low, which be 108.24, I believe, 108.22. Now, if this is really good and it's a real bottom, Dan, this thing's going to scream. It's going to scare you how much it's going to give you because people are really, really short this thing. I mean, you know, it's been down for six, uh, what, 13 weeks. That's in itself is what's looking at uh, for what we're watching right now. So be very, very careful. You don't let it get below that low today because there was a lot of volume done today. Something big has happened in all these markets, not just that, but all these markets. So just put your stop there and then you're going to be basically in a very, very small risk. And if it goes, it's going to scare you how much it's going to give you. Let me give you just a tiny little bit of advice here, Dan, okay? And listen yep. to me really closely. When you think it's time to take profits, probably you should buy more. I know it's hard to do, but that's how Tom Hugard amasses millions. When you think it's time to take a profit, he goes in and he buys more. That's how he does it. But all I'm saying is when you think it's time to take a profit, just think about it a little bit about what I said here and maybe wait just one day or half an hour or an hour or whatever it takes because if this market turns like I think it could, it's going to really go like a striped deer off of, across the forest. <laughs> so I, I'd watch that very, very closely, okay? okay? Now, you had a question. You had a second question about TGT, that's Target? No, no, it's a TBT. Oh, TBT, okay, yeah. Now, the TBT, so, that, that, that has been going down, right? Yeah, uh, no, uh, it, it, uh, it's a TBT. Uh, it's the opposite of PLD. Okay. All right. Well, that's that's the same thing. Put your stop in and then and let it go. You don't know where it's going to go. This could be a monster move. It really could. No question okay. about it. Very without any trouble at all. Okay. Uh, last question was the investment advice. Like right now, all my IRA positions are in cash. So yes. is it time to get into stock market? Stocks. No. Or no. something else. No, wait till the stock. If you see the S and P close above thirty eight forty, where thirty seven fifty, thirty seven forty eight or something like whatever it is, like thirty seven and change. If we close above thirty eight forty, then you can go in and buy stocks. But until we get above that three eight two level, I don't think you should go into stocks. That's my two cents worth. And believe me, I've been bearish since January fourth, and uh, you know, I that's all I can tell you. If it gets above thirty eight forty then I'll say, well, we're probably going to go higher. And believe me, the news that's out there, as bad as it is everywhere, it's nothing like it was back in 08 and 09 when the bottom was made. You remember that one? Yeah. Okay. Just remember those T-bills, the T-notes. If they go, you let them go. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the Opening Call newsletter at TFNN.com. The Opening Call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. 
Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, this next chart, uh, folks, is a four hour chart on gold. Uh, you wonder why I teach? Well, this is the reason, because when I get charts like this from folks, it really warms my heart. You can see the beautiful ABCD down here at the bottom at 1620. And, of course, we moved here. Now, notice the red line that is right there. Now, that's where in the newsletter well, written by John Jameson is when we got above that level, that would most probably tell you we're getting ready to uh, go a little bit at least higher. And the reason why is that we've exceeded the last 382 retracement in a downtrend. That's two ways of looking at the 382, giving it double double whammy is uh, where it's going to go. Now, how high is this going to go? I don't know. You know, the last one we had, something like this, you see we rallied all the way up to here. That was way over $100 an ounce. So, you know, we're already up $35 an ounce in just a matter of a few hours. So this thing could go, you know, a long way. Folks, this is a really big day today. I mean, this is... Uh, you know, the 21st, this is the uh, uh, 21st, this is the uh, 21st of October. We've got that uh, lunar eclipse coming up here. When is it? Uh, it's going to be, uh, no, the solar eclipse is coming up here. No, I think it's a lunar eclipse on the on the 25th. I have to double, yeah, it's a lunar eclipse, I believe. Nope, it's a solar eclipse. God, I'm not even sure. I better double check. I think it's a lunar, but I'm not sure. <laughs> I'll ask Mr. Shane Smullian or uh, Tim Bost or... Norm Winsky, who Norm Winsky will be our guest on Monday. So anyway, that's what we're what, that's what we're watching here in the gold market today. I could see what was happening in the currencies. That to me was real easy because I really had my thumb on the, the uh, button for the pound and also for the euro because they were acting so friendly in, in the in the midst of really really bad news. I mean, there was nothing. You'd, you'd think that the British pound. You know, the the worst, uh, not the worst, but the, the shortest prime minister, prime minister that they've had in uh, what? Uh, let's see, 2017 to 2024, in uh, 2022 years, going back to 1066, the Battle of Hastings. But look at this, you've got tremendously bad news here, and the market is reacting. And this is what I mentioned yesterday about read that book. Reminiscences of a Stock Operator by Edmund Lefevre. Boy, look at this. Absolutely beautiful right down in here. So anyway, uh, one of the advantages of reading that book is it gives you an idea of what happened back in the 20s because nothing's really changed since that time. And you'll you'll be able to really understand that it's these bars that prices are going up. They're not lying to you, but if prices are going down, they could be lying to you. You know what I'm saying is watch the price of the bar. If prices are going up, there's more buyers. If prices are going down, there's more sellers. You know that's the, you know that's the the main thing to uh, to remind ourselves of what we're doing here uh, today. I have a uh, my very favorite. Uh, well, I have so many. I'm going to do a tribute to Eddie Horowitz just as soon as uh, I, I'll tell you just how important Eddie Horowitz was in the Los Angeles area. 
when I first met him, he was living in the same building as uh, Peter Elides uh, there on uh, Cohenga Boulevard in Hollywood. It was a brand new condo. And they were on the top floor, three stories, of course. <laughs> but it was a beautiful, beautiful place. And uh, I used to go up there and study the charts with Eddie and meet with Peter and stuff like this. But Eddie's secretary was uh, Michelle Matrabamo. Uh, Matabamo, I can't remember the exact spelling. It was Jay Cross's wife. And Jay married Michelle, and uh, Jay was uh, from a cotton farmer down in Memphis, and of course, they from a high society Los Angeles uh, uh, family, and they did the family didn't didn't like Jay because he was not of their class, but boy, he made a lot of money, and that's the main thing, and he was happy and had a good family and everything, but unfortunately, the pressure got too great, and they got divorced, and. You know, anyway, but anyway, Michelle was uh, his wife, and she was uh, along with uh, Eddie's uh, secretary. But one day, I was in Eddie's uh, office there uh, in his in his business. He had an office there, and also an office at Hayden Stone. He knew. Uh, um, oh my gosh, I can't remember the guy. Mamus Hostetter really well, so that was one of the reasons why I got at Commodity Corporation. But there were there were uncashed checks. In his, on the top of his dresser drawer for 30000 28000 19000 I mean, there must have been 100 grand's worth of ca uncashed checks. And he said he hadn't had a chance to go to the bank yet. That's, that's what a player he was, you know, back in those days. But I always remember that uh, quite a bit. Well, today I got news early this morning that the rabbi was uh, uh, at the home, and they were probably, this might be the last day for it. But he's lived a great life for 84 years. Uh, he had a wonderful family. And I have well, one other funny. He, he was a bachelor until he was 55, folks. He's driving down Pico Boulevard in Los Angeles, one of the big boulevards. It's one o'clock in the morning, and he sees this girl going the other way. And he sees her, and he makes a U turn, and he follows her. And she realizes she's being followed, so she stops in a ship's coffee house. They don't have them anymore. But she runs in and she sits down and he walks in and she's she's really panicked. And he says, no, look, no, look, I, I just wanted to meet you. I, I passed you and I thought I was supposed to. And by God, a year later, they were married on October the 18th of 1987. That was 1987 in September uh, of 86. And a year later, they got married and they've been married for 35 years ever since. Now, if you think that's not the trading gods, you see someone at one o'clock in the morning going the wrong way. I mean, holy cow. My question to Eddie, what was you doing at one o'clock in the morning, for God's sake? You're a traitor. Anyway, they're, uh, that, anyway that's neither here nor there. I'll share, uh, when, I, when I get to the point of where we get to these uh, people that I met in my past, I've got to share them because I'm not going to write a book about it stuff. It's, I just don't have the energy anymore. But uh, we will have Twentyman on the line here on Wednesday, and he's gonna, we're gonna go over, he's going to go over his history, where he came from. We we had an argument, we discussion about when we met. He thought it was 1970. I thought it was 68. So neither one of us is probably right. But it was at Conti Commodities. I read uh, across the street at uh, oh dear, it's Clayton Commodities. And then later on, he went over to in 68. That's why I think it was earlier in 68. He went to work at uh, Conti Commodity with uh, Roy Fassel. So Jim will tell us some about his stor stories of astrology and some of the other things that he's going to be gone through and everything. We went to Commodity, we traded Commodity Corporation together, and so it'll be a lot of fun. Some of the harmonic numbers, and you know, he's done a lot of a lot of work that uh, he shared with me through the years, and he was certainly instrumental in the uh, neural net that I was looking at at the time. Boy, we're really smoking now. Uh, we got the Dow Jones up almost, what, 700 points today? Shut the front door. We're smashing new records here. And the NASDAQ just broke up above the next level, too. So we're going to close like a really good one today, boys and girls. So get ready. They're going to be rocking and rolling, that's for sure. That's uh, really going to be a big one. So that's it. we got a break coming up here, I hope, because I need uh, survival mode today, folks. I'm uh, just barely hanging on today. I'm going to have a good uh, tear-jerking cry when we get down here because uh, – I lost a good, going to lose a good friend here the next day or so, and I don't want to do that. I've lost so many recently, and uh, but this guy was—he's uh, really special. Anyway, well, they're all special. <laughs> some, some of them may be more special than others. Okay, let's get back here. We'll talk about the markets here. We got a break coming up. We're breaking out to new high grounds in the Dow Jones again, and it is just screaming. And uh, we should get another 
at least another 150 point handle on it and stuff like that, I would think. So we'll see uh, you know, what happens, but we broke above the 78% level now in the NASDAQ. We're just about ready to do it in the S&P here at 3746, uh, and we're there right now, and it should be popping through. Bada bing, bada boom, very, very shortly. There we do. There we did it right now. So we just went above the 78% uh, level, which was the high we made uh, yesterday before we dropped. Uh if you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, here's where we were yesterday. We rallied up here to the 61% retracement. We came down, we made the ABCD. I've already posted that chart. And that means if we clear this, we've just hit the, uh, just took out this high by just a little bit. Remember, we came all the way down here. Now we went back to that high again. And that's very important. So if we clear above here, uh, above this 3,800 level, that means that there's, uh, yeah, you know, it's going to be pretty hard to be bearish the stock market given all the negativity and the market wants to go higher. You can't, uh, you can't stand in front of that freight train, folks. There, your the first key was today, and we made that you know A B C D down here at the bottom today, and look how we're coming back. I mean, that's a, it's a sign of a great deal of bullishness. Now, maybe it's a trap. I don't know. We've seen traps before, but uh, that's neither here nor there. But the key level to watch is if we close above that uh, 3802 level uh, in the S and P. Then I just don't understand how anybody could be bearish uh, in there. And I and I'm bearish. I'm short term. You know, maybe this will be the A B C D again, but. 
you know, you don't want to you don't want to stand in front of it. I've been bearish for a long time. I knew Sunday night. Sunday night was the key to me because if you look back here, and I'll bring this up again to show you how important that little son of a gun was. That was the one that really was important. We'll get that up here. And there's where we were Sunday night right back here. And then we had this run all the way up here and then down. And this is where we were today. Now we're right back to this level right here. We got to close above this level right here. We close above that level. Then say, yep. This thing is going to go on its way. So that's the main thing. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless. Say prayers for my good friend, Fast Eddie. And uh, we'll see you on the flip side on Monday with Norm Winsky of Astro Trends out of Naples, Florida. May God bless, boys and girls. We'll see you on Monday.